playing at home for just the second time this season. Wofford taking on Georgia Southern for homecoming. The Eagles get the ball first and score first as Lee Chapel hooks up with Jameer Valentine for a 14-yard touchdown to give Georgia Southern an early 7-0 lead. On the Eagles next, Keaton Thompson comes up with the key sack on third down to force a Georgia Southern punt, one of four sacks on the day for the Terriers. On the first play of the second quarter, the Terriers offense comes up with its first big play as Mike Rucker rumbles 65 yards all the way down to the Eagles 18 line. Rucker finishes with a game high 95 yards rushing. Three plays later, Mitch Allen finds Justice Joslin on the quick slant, nine yard touchdown game tied at seven. After the Eagles retake the lead on a 48 yard field goal, the Terriers answer just before the half. Mitch Allen shows tremendous effort fighting his way into the end zone for a three-yard touchdown to give Walford a 14-10 lead at the break. But on the Eagles' first possession of the second half, they retake the lead as Darian Robinson goes up the middle for a 24-yard touchdown. Georgia Southern up 17-14. On the next possession, Mitch Allen finds Brenton Burson for a 38-yard gain into Eagles territory, but the Terriers cannot capitalize on the big play. The Eagles kick a 50-yard field goal on their next possession to extend the lead to 20-14. To Late in the third, trying to make a play, Mitch throws an interception deep in Terrier territory, and three plays later, the Eagles are in the end zone once again. Adam Urbano, four-yard touchdown, and the lead is now 26-14. to Early in the fourth quarter, Wofford cuts the lead to five as Mitch Allen goes... Brenton Burson, this time it's good for a 21-yard touchdown, and Walford is now down just 26-21. With about two minutes to play, the Eagles are forced to punt. The snap is low, and the punt is terrible, as Blake Wiley fields the kick at midfield and returns it to the Eagles' 42-yard line. Three plays later, Allen tries to make the pitch, but his arm is hit, the ball comes out, the Eagles recover, and run out the clock from there as they spoil the Terriers' homecoming. Final score, 26-21. When you have a young football team, the, the mindset is critical. Uh, the attitude is critical. And uh, we're going to have to work on that probably as hard as the X's and the O's. But uh, for the most part, I think we've got a, a, a great group of guys that are going to be willing to see this thing through to the end. Uh, we're in a position that we haven't been in for a long, long time. It's disappointing, you know. Um, I thought I thought we played hard. I thought we played a lot better than last week. Um, it just wasn't enough. We still didn't make enough good plays, and we still made a lot of mistakes. It's kind of a tough one to swallow. We should have had that one. It's hard, but I believe so. You know, it hurt. Thought we had everything down. Just not used to losing. It's a hard thing to come by. But um, the positive thing is, when the SoCon, you know, we run the table from here, we still have a chance to. Keep going. The Terriers will take next weekend off and will play host to Appalachian State on October 17th. For the Walford Terriers, I'm Todd Summers.